-hmm. We have a moral obligation in order to save the planet to make to bring consumers up to the level where environment, animal welfare, uh, human justice are just as important as personal health. I think there's a rising tide right now uh, in consumer companies for a, you know people profits planet, a holistic business model. Incredible reinvents the way we eat our food by replacing single-use plastic cutlery with edible cutlery. Climate change and climate justice are inextricably linked. Um, we have to think about climate justice, you know, when we think about our business and our strategic planning. So just imagine all the people that we can reach with healthy plant-based food when we're at that price point alone. Food for climate. Let's celebrate this next generation of food entrepreneurs today. Let's make animal production be more sustainable. Let's create restaurants and retail food operations that, um, that provide people a really great job. Consumers are ready not just to buy products, but they're ready to uh, join a movement. They're looking for heroes, they're looking for leaders. Our partner also has access to fresh, sustainably grown ingredients year round from local farmers that we know by name. What are the kinds of things upstream that we need to think about um, to invest in to prevent you know, climate change from accelerating and to even reverse it? We're helping heal our food system by rescuing cosmetically regular produce and farm surplus to make super snappy pickles and tasty condiments. The supply chain itself needs to evolve to a point of regenerative agriculture from where it is now, and that can be very complicated. How about we uh, guarantee yields based on integrated pest management, carbon farming practices of NRCS, et cetera. Let's change the incentives in the food system. The impacts of climate change are already affecting companies' bottom lines with increasing climate disasters like wildfires, drought, flooding, and heat waves that threaten business operations internationally. The system itself is actually part of the problem because big ag really doesn't want this to happen. They want the farmers to be able to be beholden to them, to buying their seeds, to buying their chemicals. It's our responsibility to create the future. A deep thank you to everyone again who's behind Food Funded. I could just give you all a virtual hug because you all helped so much. Thanks from the bottom of my heart and not only my heart, but everybody involved in the Food Funded community.